Like what they've done with the group I'm look I'm looking at team blue well on my screen I'm looking at team red but I'm looking at team blue really also dark prince I like that mount by the way I have one of those we got ourselves a uh, holy DK named dark prince dark pits PvE God X we got ourselves death steel wait where's Chilbane? what the fuck we got Seavark and Boomin playing some alley. On Team Blue, we're gonna have Cinderella. Hopefully not going first. Alpha Shadow coming back as a Shadow Leg. Trying his uh, trying his uh, as a marksman. Trying his attempt as a marksman, I guess. Lol, lol, and Vladimir. Vlad is getting demonic game up and running. Is he gonna be up first? Looks like Vlad might be up first as a warlock, man. And this is gonna be Boom first up, man. Gonna get the big damage as an alley versus Vlad, though. As long as he get those light glasses, should be good to go. So for Vlad, he needs to save his pet CC. He's gonna land it, oh, almost landed the CC onto Boomin in the opener. Does land it. That's gonna be a bunch of hand and cooldowns coming down for Vlad. Boomin's trying to get the early zaps into a lightning lasso onto Vlad. Doing a lot of damage in the opener. It's gonna be Vlad just locked out for a moment. Does land the back to back CC onto Boomin. With a fear to follow. Hand and cooldown right after. More hand and cooldowns coming out. It's gonna get a bunch of imps in there. And Boomin's actually taking so much damage from imps. This might be a better arena for Boomin to take damage. So for Vlad, this might be a really good position. As long as he can get Boomin out in the open but Boomin is going to be playing around that line of sight as best as possible Vlad is not even walking up to line of sight might just have to play up the LOS he wants to keep Boomin out in the open but might have to just play the line of sight as well CC coming on to Boomin that's going to be Vlad actually bailing back I'm not really sure if that's what he meant to do was that a misclick? Is gonna try to get a banish on one of the pets it's going to be like the last of a Boomin which is going to force out a trick out of Vlad though Vlad down a trinket, not gonna be able to stop it. Has the pet CC, has the horror effect that he may be, might be able to just get like midway as Boomin does go for a lightning lasso. So there's ways for him to deal with it. Does land the horror effect a little bit early. Maldic onto Vlad right now, not gonna be given a lot of ways to heal. Gonna be interrupted immediately and Boomin is gonna bail around by the pillar, hanging around real close, just kind of bobbing and weaving, making sure he has enough of land aside in order to deal damage and damage he does to Vlad as Dad drops down to about 30% health into Shadow Fury. No, Lightning Lasso to follow. Wall coming up, doesn't have the pet CC to follow. The Lightning Lasso, boom, gets scot free on easy damage. Vlad is gonna beef up the pet right now with the Tyra. That's gonna be all the demons doing damage to him, but the healing surges are keeping him more than afloat. Does interrupt him on Shadow. Tyrion is gonna do some damage, but Vlad is not looking that good right now. The elementals finally calm down and dissipate. Boomin has a bit of damage. Earth Shaka to Vlad. Doesn't even have to worry about the Mali. Alec is gonna be up next, playing himself some marksman. Aim shot into Boomin. Does get line of sight around the corner though. Again, playing up to the line of sight as best as possible, making sure to come out whenever he's got damage. Now he's out in the open. That's gonna be stunned to Alec. Trick out of it immediately. Boomin is gonna get frozen up right now. Is there gonna be big old damage on aim shot? Some damage, but not too much. Does finally get a dent in him. Maybe that's gonna be rapid fire right now. Rapid fire does come out onto Boomin, but Boomin fires back at Lek, dropping him down to less than half. Does force out exhilaration a little bit early, and Lek needs to get the line of sight on Boomin right now. Is getting some rapid fires in there. He needs to get that aim shots in there, man. He needs to get the snapper shot coming down. Is that gonna be maybe aim shot capacitor him right next to him? It's gonna stun him. Does interrupt Boomin on his heels though. Into a light, the last to fall. Lek is out of options. Does get a faint death somehow, though. Into a camo. Oh my god, does he have any dots on him? Woo, boy. Boom is gonna have to pick up the eye. Lek is gonna have a freezing trap on one side. Does Boom see the freezing trap, though? Does he have lightning lasso? That's all he needs is just a lightning lasso. He literally doesn't need to do anything except wait for the lasso. Lek is getting a lot of healing while in camo, though. Lots of health recovering right now. And healing surge is coming out for Boom. Leg is actually feeling healthy enough where he wants to approach Boom and no eyes available. We go for a big old damage. Is he gonna go for a snapper shot from Appener? Smacking Boom in for 20%, supposed to be 20% of his health, but maybe armor does decrease it. Into a rapid fire off of that. Light of Lassa is gonna stop him in place though. Does he have the human ratio? I think he might have used it already. That's gonna be Boom and getting the health a little bit more equalized, but Boom is still ahead somehow. Stormkeeper coming down, gonna be able to get a bunch of zaps into leg. Does get a freezing trap around the corner. Does Boomin not eat into it? No, he's running a little bit longer. 
he is taking a bit longer strides around this side of the pillar this is where like pops two forms of cc so boomin is definitely 100 percent not going to be running over that even less of a reason lex still has a lot of damage coming down to him as boomin is just going to zap him out back to back like when you know what to reposition his freezing trap does freeze the pet but that's going to be a lightning lasso on him not a lot he can do out of this situation Lots of defenses down, 50 seconds left on an exhilaration. Trying to see if he maybe can land himself another heal, but whatever damage he's doing to Boomin, he doesn't have the opportunity to get him out in the open, to get a bunch of those aim shots in there, to get a bunch of rapid fires in there. And that's going to be Boomin, tricking out of the freezing trap with a Maladuck to follow, sniping out Lek. Next up is going to be Cinderella. Try to see if he can bring Boomin down off of that high pedestal of Elemental Shaman. Going to get knocked back into a light lasso immediately. Cinderella instantly trinking in it. It's going to be a power shift and trying to get through the slows of Boomin. He's going to pre-wall his damage right now. Just pre-walling it. Cinderella is going to get a big mean bite while Incarn is running for Sind. That's going to be a lot of damage. Capacitorum is going to come down. Boomin is going to land himself a couple of heals. That's going to be Haymaker. Not really moving him far, but it's going to slow him down for a moment. It's going to stun him for a second. Does Cinderella have Malik to follow? Could Mali Boomin to really pressure him some more? Bleeds, zero ways to heal, shadow damage. I mean, that would be a lot of pressure right now. Boomin does have Ghost Wolf that he's going to keep popping into in order to stay alive for as long as he can. Light and last to follow off of that damage. Cinderella is going to have to take the full damage of that. And Boomin's being proactive, going to get himself a Y. He's just going to try to get some land inside, try to get a few heals, even drop down Capacitorum. That's going to be a walk coming out for Sin. Doesn't want to get zapped too hard, but boom, he still is going to generate a lot of resources, though. He's still going to get that Earth Shock in there. And it's going to get himself a new Earth Shield up and running as well. Cinderella simply just needs to make sure he has something for the light and last every time. His power shifting. Maybe he can get caught out in bear form during one of the lassos. He's going to get way knocked way out. Does Boomin have a lasso available right now? He's going to lasso wrangle it up the kitty. He's going to do a good, good, good bit guaranteed damage. I can never say that properly. He's going to do a good bit of guaranteed damage to Cinderella every time. 7% dampening roll. And he's going to pick up eyes in case Cinderella does try to go for a resell. That's exactly what he tried to do. Is he going to be able to find him? Capacitor Tournament once it doesn't see it. Flame Shock is going to take him out of that stealth. Bear form, power shift as much as he can. Cinderella is trying to maintain their health as best as he can. Knows the lasso is coming. If Boomin can get himself big setups, big R Shock does come down. Can he get a big lightning bolt in there? Try to see if he can get kicked by Cinderella right now into a lightning lasso to follow. Uh, it's going to be actually lightning Cinderella getting out of the lightning lasso. I think Boomin went for a Malonic mid lightning lasso, which cancels it. Walk him in for Cinderella. And Boomin is just going to try to use mobility and range to try to recover while in ghostful form. We're going to have to wait quite a bit to see how this is going to go down for him. Wall available. No, wall no longer available for Cinderella. Wall down for Boomin. Cinderella looking pretty good on health right now. And Boomin is actually taking down damage with his bleeds. Dampening not really all that high quite yet. I guess he just needs to stay in Ghost Wolf a little bit longer. Lightning last to peel him off. Check it out Cinderella. So that's going to be still a lot for Boomin to come back from. Cinderella just has so much sustain. So much pressure. Going to get himself an Earth Shield rolling. And Cinderella is just reckless. Just relentless. Bash into Boomin. Forcing a trick out of him. Trial form off that. And Boomer is just trying to kite against some more Ghost Wolf. It's his best friend right now. Waiting now for another Lightning Last. So Cinderella is getting lower in health. Should get some healing going right now. It's going to be Earth Shock into a Frost Shock. Forces Cinderella out of form. Knocking him out. Wall out of Cinderella. So he's not won't have anything from there. It's going to get massive healing. Renewal to follow. Making sure he's full on health at all times. And Boomer is going to be proactive. Pick up the eyeball right now. What Boomer needs to do. He's got massive damage on Cinderella. Trying to see if he can cut him into a capacitor. Does land it. He's going to be able to get a flame shock on the side and slow Cinderella down before his approach. Just to get a massive earth shock, zap, wombo combo, lightning lasso, maybe a zap after that. So he doesn't give Cinderella any moment to heal himself, any moment to do anything. I think that's what it really got to come down to. Does get a zap in there. Gracial coming down. Urshak to follow. Zap to follow. It's going to be stunned onto Boomin. No way out of it. Probably to press the light and last. Cinderella is getting himself a few heals. As he's getting resources from Boomin. From generating all the comp points. And spending them into finishers. And Boomin is going to go for more healing. So Cinderella is back on him. Waffle Boomin going to knock Cinderella out. It's going to bail behind the wall right now. Now Cinderella is waiting for cooldowns. It's going to be 30 seconds for that renewal. 30 seconds for a chicken. About a 53 second wait for a wall. And Boomin is going to take advantage of the situation. Cinderella does catch a restealth opener onto Boom. He's going to be able to get all the dots up and running. Big Earth Shock coming down into a Frost Shock. Maledict to roll as well. 
Cinderella is still getting pressure right now into a lightning last. So does have a massive heal on him. As he's able to catch up on health fairly well. But it's still going to have to get the regrowth in there. Renewal is in there. Rejuve is in there. I wonder if Boomin is uh, purging those ever. I wonder if it's worth for the globals. Is it better just to do the damage? Because I think it would be pretty good. Flame Shock rolling. Cinderella does catch a restart. I guess he didn't have a Flame Shock. Does get knocked into the room. Root and Boomin out in the open. Oh my god. It's like a back and forth with these two, dude. It's a spy versus spy situation, man. Cinderella and Boomin, in some sense, is counter one another. So Cinderella is using the fact that Boomin can't get out of Roots, for example, to keep him in place. And he's stealth in order to get the open onto Boomin. Oh, Boomin has our elementals and the self heal while in Ghost Wolf. Should counter Cinderella's damage to just run, kite, and heal himself at the same time. Trying to use whatever slows he's got in order to force Cinderella to power shift around. Cinderella can't just sit in, uh, in Feral form the whole time. But Boomin's health is not looking that good. Is this going to be the turnaround of the game? 30% dampening and Boomin is just still trying to run away, man. He's still getting out of there, man. He's taking another right turn. <laughs> Actually, when Boomin is in Ghost Wolf and Cinderella is in Feral form and they're running after one another, it makes me think like it's a racing game for a bit. <laughs> wild Growth are coming in. Oh, even reason Wild Growth at this point. These boys are busting out every dot, every hot in the world just to see if they can win. Boomin is going to get the dots up and running. Cinderella is still hovering up low as hell. This could be good for Boomin. Does get a wall a little bit early. That's going to be light and last. They're going to get Cinderella low. Cinderella, no wall, no renewal. Is that going to be it, though? Trying to get himself a heal. Boomin's going to send some meatballs at him. Can't even get a regrowth. Does get a Swiftman in there. Meow. Shaman on pursuit. Over. Got to see if I can wrangle me up to Feral. We've chased him for a wildcat right now for quite a bit of while. I'm gonna catch up to him eventually. Cinderella got in Karn right now. That's all he has. Trying to see if he can turn around offensively. I think he tried to go for a stun just now with a rake. And that didn't happen. Earthbind totem on one side. Power shifting through it. Forced a power shift around. So now he's that's all by not getting caught out in the wrong form. That's gonna be light and last to try to get him low. Does Bowman have the Earthshock to follow up that? Does have a meatball in there. Earthshock does get the Maelstrom. And finally Cinderella does go down. Who's next? Yeah, this Shadow Priest doesn't want to do it. It's going to be the Rogue, ma'am. going to have to be the subtlety rogue. Lol, lol versus Boom. Boom doesn't have a wall or trinket for quite a bit. So Lol has the damage right now. He could honestly just end Boom right here. If he has the damage. That is the main question. He's going to open up with a Shadow Strike. Now, Blade. Light and last for Boom. And he's just going to have to sit it for a bit. He's going to be patient with it. Patience is a virtue. Boom is going to have a trinket up to this time. With a greater fire alley generating a lot of resources, so more earth shocks in there. Does land an Mark for death into a kidney. Does knock him out. Shadow Step getting burned. And this is where Lolo trying to go for some damage to Boom right now. Back to back eviscerates. Can he do it? Walk him in for Boom with a massive DFA. Doesn't feel like he did as much damage. Into a freeze onto Lolo. He still has plenty of defenses to work with right now. Does catch himself a resell with a Shadow Melt. That's going to be tricking off of that light and last. So Boomin has a Stormkeeper trying to come out. Not going to happen. I think he got a kick. Yeah, juked out a kick for Lolo. That's going to be Cloak of Shadows right now. Into a blind into Boomin. He still has hold on to Trick and Trick inside of it. That's going to be advantage for Lolo though. Doesn't have a kick for Boomin. Look at what like he wants to go for a bit of a reset. Oh, Sap comes in to Boom. Has Shadow Blaze this time and everything. If he has the big damage right now, he could do it, man. If he has the big numbers right now, he could do it. The big ones. Question is, is he going to be able to do it? Nightblade comes out, but that's going to be Lasso. Does he have the health to survive it? Maybe Earthshock from Boomin does land the Earthshock. He's going to get a concoction in a Shadow Sap and pass Boomin. Has the Nightblade rolling. Boomin, does he have enough damage to finish him off right now, though? Lol can still turn around. Shadow Step and against Boomin again. Kidney Shot coming down. It's going to be a Shadow Strike. No. Kidney Shot fully DR'd. Mally onto Boomin. Does he have the damage to maybe happen? Mally for Boomin to kill off Lol and down he goes. Elf and Shadow. Get in there. Boomin doesn't have cooldowns. You might be able to do something about it. Does he know where Boomin's at? I think he doesn't have his health bars turned on. Otherwise, he would have known where he's at. I think he thought Boomin went back to the room. Does land stun. Making him do the moonwalk for a bit. Into a fear onto Boomin. Into some damage. Light and last the trick is out of it. Into a silence. Does get the mind bender in there. This is where Alpha Shadow needs to make a play. It's gonna burn the greater fade in order to catch up to Boomin. Wall coming out for the shaman boy. With healing surges to follow. Into a stormkeeper. Alpha Shadow needs to go for some big damage on him. Back to back zaps coming onto Elfin. 
as he does have darts rolling into boom and trying to make sure that he's getting as much damage with his void form up and running is gonna get slowed down for a moment is he cleansing darts and hearts off of Boomin? he should be cleansing everything off of him as much as he can though should be cleansing it try to see if he can get a vt in there not gonna happen into a lasso is that gonna be maybe disperse not gonna be a disperse does alpha shadows have cc for Boomin? it's gonna be a trigger for boom though regardless maybe he could break through one of the cc with a tremor stun coming in is it gonna trick it out of it gonna knock alpha shadow out for a second vt is gonna still happen into a silence into a siphon siphon can't quite hit him he's gonna try to line inside siphon siphon is still gonna do some damage though does try to get damage onto alpha shadow not gonna happen and alpha is back here with shadow men's right now all he has is a fear for Boomin. But does Boomin fear Elf and Shadow? That is the question. He needs to come out and fear him. That's going to be Light the Lasso. Should be dispersing. Does press disperse. Is that going to be enough healing and damage reduction? It is going to be enough. Try to see if he can run up to Boomin. It's going to be fear immediately. Trick is, oh, tremors it. pre tremors that fear. VT coming out. I think that doesn't land. And Boomin does take out everybody in a massive 1v5. Obliterate the whole enemy team.